vegetable soup stock is really easy to make at home. It's very economical and it's a really great way to clean out the refrigerator. You can tailor the flavors to match the soup you're making. It keeps well in the fridge for a couple of days or in the freezer for up to several months. I'm going to show you two different versions of vegetable soup stock. For a very basic soup stock, you will need one onion, two to three ribs of celery with the leaves, and two to three carrots. Now this by itself would make a very nice soup stock, but you could also add two to three cloves of garlic, a leaf or two of bay leaves, about a teaspoon of thyme, five to six peppercorns, a handful of parsley with the stems, and then those bits and pieces of, of vegetables that you didn't want to eat. So say the stem of broccoli, some asparagus tips, and some kale. For the equipment, you'll need a large stock pot with a tight fitting lid, a sharp knife, a wooden spoon, 10 to 12 cups of water, a cutting board, and some people like to put the spices into something like a tea ball or cheesecloth so they can take them out easier. Then when the soup is done, you'll need a large bowl with a strainer. You could also line it with cheesecloth. For the basic stock, chop up the vegetables. on the stove top, bring it to a boil, lower to simmer, and cook it for 45 to 60 minutes. For a more souped up version, I'm going to use the same things I used in the basic stock, but I'm going to saute all the vegetables first. This will give it a different texture and a different flavor. Because I'm going to saute the vegetables, I'm going to chop everything a little bit smaller than I did in the other soup stock. I'm going to add a few other vegetables to this version of my soup stock. I have a turnip, a leek, and also a bell pepper, and I'm going to add some sage and rosemary. about seven or eight minutes. The onions are now translucent. So we're going to add the rest of the vegetables, the spices, and the water. Bring this to a boil and let it simmer. After the soup stock is cooled, I like to do this at the sink in case I spill. Um, take your soup stock. You can use a ladle or you could just pour it in through the strainer. I'm going to press a little bit of that liquid out. And inside I've got some lovely soup stock. Store the stock in airtight containers either in the refrigerator for a few days or in the freezer for up to several months. Some people put the stock into ice cube trays, let them freeze, and then store them in freezer bags. Many people toss the vegetables into the compost bin, but they're edible and very tender. You could puree them and put them into soup or even into spaghetti sauce. Use this stock in place of water when you're making rice, polenta, or quinoa. You can also add it to mashed potatoes. You can use it in your gravies, and you can also use it when you're braising or stir-frying.